Hey, it's me, the Judge Network, coming back with another video. Um, we are talking the Muhammad Wilkerson, um, releasing today, um, or yesterday. Uh, uh, let me say this. I'm going to be honest with you, I like to be positive on this channel. I like to say the Jets are going in a good, good direction. And from the 5-11 season two years back to this year, Seems like a lot more hope, to be honest. And, um, we're moving up with Jeremy Bates, I like. Um, mm -hmm. I think he's smart. I think it's worth the move. Um, I didn't like Morton because it's predictable, um, play calling, but that's not, um, what we're talking about today. We're talking about Muhammad Roverson being released. After just two years into his five year deal, um, this saves us, I believe, $11 million. But, you lose Mohamed Wilkerson. I mean, you can't. There's not many guys that want on the defensive line. If, if I had to pick, it'd be James Harrison, Mohamed Wilkerson, um, Campbell. Um, uh, he was another good deal. Um, the end. But those guys, um, the guys that can real really pass for us, maybe um, Sheldon Richardson too, um. And um, Von Miller in the on the line there. If I had a starting front four, I mean Von Miller's not a starting lineman, but he, he'd work for it in my opinion. Um, so anyway, he'd fit that mold. Um, as I was saying, so see the top five linemen, defensive linemen in the league, in my opinion. Yes, he's he's got his mouth, but he's a, but he he is indeed Josh McCowan and. Is the offensive leader and he is the defensive leader. I guess Jamal Adams may be a vice, but would be a vice um, leader. But but honestly, um, how on earth do you figure that this is really going to work out for the better? I mean, he's not going to make them lose more games, but he's not going to he's not going to save them so many games. I mean. He's not gonna lose, make them lose so many games without him. How do I put this? He wanna make us go ten and six. But it's gonna be harder to win games without him, in my opinion, because he's a good pass rusher and inherits the uh, inherits the team if you take someone out like that. And I get you have a number one, number six pick in the draft, and you might go out there and draft the number the number six um and have at and get a pass rusher, but. Honestly, I don't see that happening. I see them taking either Barkley or a quarterback. That's my opinion at number six. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the um, this Muhammad thing. Um, as I say this, before I go any farther, all respect out to him. He is my favorite D lineman for the Jets ever. Um, but when it comes down to it, we don't really need him. It's not going to change our team completely. But why must we go into March every single season and have this anomaly that, oh crap, they're going to release some guys. Because I knew that was happening. This Once March came around, it's like, oh my, here we go. Yeah, Or today, when I woke up, I was like, here comes the bad month of March. The Jets are going to start releasing people. But honestly, this isn't too bad. I mean, $11 million off the cap space. Um... It got out of a deal I guess you didn't want to be in. You didn't have to pay the other the money you would have. But, um, at the end of the day, I think he's worth it. I think we should have kept him around. But, that's my opinion. Not the, the Jets' opinion. So that's the video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. The Jets released Muhammad Wilkerson after two years into his five-year deal, saving $11 million. Um, that's the video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. For more like this, hit the subscribe button. Show your friends if you like this video. Have a nice day and get dressed. Bye-bye.